Up Jewelry and welcome to my very messy studio. Today I am going to show you how to wrap a breast milk crystal or a placenta crystal in a crystal that you've made out of DNA. So this is the one that I have here. It has placenta in it and it has some unicorn flakes. It's really pretty and it's got a little amethyst um, tip on the end. So I'm going to show you guys how I wrap my crystals so that they stay safe and they don't come off your chain. So here we go, here's our tutorial. So the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to get your drill and you're going to plug it in, which I should have done before I started this video, but here we go. Plugging in the drill. There we are. And I just do this on my windowsill because it's my studio, it's messy. Like, yeah, I just do all my drilling here. So what you want to do is around about here up at the tip, you just want to drill a small hole with your drill. So here we go. I use a Dremel. You can use a normal hand drill if you want. So it's got a little hole up there and that's what we're going to use to thread our wire through. So of course my cat has come to visit us. Come away cat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you how to do the rest of this. So, what you want to do is find your hole um, and get yourself some wire. I use 22 gauge wire and I use dead soft. So, you want to be able to thread that through the hole here. Now, what I do from here, I'll try and do it as visible as I can for you guys, is I pull a good length out so that I've got some to um, fold over and make a little bale. So I just fold that over like that and then I make a little hoop like this, fold it over and it's a little bit tricky but you want to be able to sit your bale like this. Can you see that? I hope you can. I won't be able to tell until I edit this video. So. Where I go from here is I bring this little hoop here around under the part that it's threaded through and I just secure it off there so it's slipped through. So this is what it looks like at this stage. Okay? So what I want to do now is I want to start wrapping. So I just fold this part around so that it's all sort of uniformed in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping the crystal. So I start at the bottom and I bring this around in the opposite direction to which way you went when you secured your bale off and I just keep wrapping around filling up any little gaps that I've got Give your top part a little bit of a twist so that it's secure and kind of push it down a little bit onto the crystal so it's sitting there. If this little part pops up like this, don't worry about it. You can always snip that off. So I kind of try and work around that. Just keep wrapping, wrapping. At this stage, you might want to go under there so that you've got something for it to grab onto and up around the top and start bringing it down and start filling up all the gaps in there. So you actually use quite a bit of wire when you're wire wrapping, which is why these little babies cost the amount that they do. Not only that, they're very fiddly. Um, I must admit that wire wrapping isn't actually my favourite thing to do, but it's very satisfying when you get a really pretty piece and it all looks great. So, this does take a little bit of practice, mind you. It's taken me a while to be able to wrap these and be satisfied with them. So, just keep wrapping, filling up any gaps that you've got, hanging on to the top. Keep bringing it around. And then, when it's all full, you don't want to over wrap it because it's just going to look terrible. Um, just make sure that you've come down enough onto the pendant so that it looks nice. Um, I just want to come down a few strands more really 
so about there is where I like to finish mine off and then what you want to do is wrap this back up to the top and around the top bail and then secure it and then just snip it off so here we go this is what it looks like when it's all wrapped obviously I've got to cut this top part off but I didn't bring my little pliers with me but you just snip that off and yeah there's your wire wrap crystal so you will have a part on the back that sort of comes up and around and secures it um, that doesn't really matter too much I mean if you wanted to try and hide that you could but you have to remember at the end of the day that these are actually handmade pieces and I just think that it actually adds to it really so that's how you do it this is 14 karat gold filled wire um, it's not the cheapest wire to buy um, I suggest that if you're going to be practicing doing these that you do it with sterling silver or just um, just any cheap wire that you can find sterling silver isn't all that cheap don't get me wrong but um, it's a lot less expensive than the gold filled wire so it may take a couple of practices but that's how I do it it's very secure it's not going to come off there um, you can go with a um, half hard wire which is a little bit harder to wrap with it's a little bit stiffer it's not as pliable as this wire if you feel as though this is going to get bent out of shape or what you can do is you can actually um, hammer this so that it actually stiffens up the wire a little bit but I don't bother I only do that on request so um, that's how we do our wire rack crystals so I hope that that helps um, leave a comment in below like the video and subscribe I'm going to have a couple of more tutorials coming up um, on behind the scenes of breast milk jewelry um, and yeah I love sharing this stuff with you guys and I hope that this helps you out with any pieces that you were trying to make at home so there we go there's a wire wrap crystal pendant with placenta unicorn flex and amethyst at the tip so